Uh, we um, finished up lunch and decided to come back to where it all started. This is actually my my backyard, my house. Um, we've got some hoses hanging, and behind me we have press and distemmer and, and brutes. And um, when Aaron met me, uh, yeah. Uh, 2017. 2017, I was making uh, wine here, outside. Um, with a lot of the same ethos that, that we have with Source and Sink. So, um, segueing into the next wine that we're going to be drinking, this is our, uh, our flagship blend. This is the Red Field Blend, um, 2019. This is 54% Zinfandel, 24% Petit Syrah, and 20%, did I get my math right? 20% Alicante Boucher. I think that's 100, yeah. Yeah. So, this is, uh, this is the Holy Trinity for us. Um, we work with uh, about five different vineyards goes go into this wine. So something that Aaron and I both really um, wanna uh, press upon, especially with, with Source and Sink, is that our goal is to deconstruct a classic old vine fuel blend and then reconstruct it. Mm -hmm. So we're able to source fruit, um, great fruit sources within Sonoma Valley, buy them separately, ferment them separately, age them separately, and then we um, we blend, I think we refine the blending about two different times yeah. uh, before coming to the red field blend, so. Yeah, traditionally a field blend is going to be just all interplanted, it will be co-fermented, and we think that those are usually good wines, but we wanted to elevate it. We wanted to make the best possible wine, and with the co-fermentation, with growing together, with picking everything at the same time, you're gonna take some compromises, and we wanted to have no compromises with our red field blend. So this is the one we make the most of. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of hallmark and cornerstone of Source and Sink. And uh, we're really excited to uh, share the 2019 uh, version with you. Yeah, so right off the bat, this is, uh, it's very floral, um, mm -hmm. a lot of violet um, and rose, um, which is a surprise, um, high tone, red berries, um, blackberries, which is not red, raspberries. Uh, <laughs> the other berry. Uh, strawberries, it's, it's definitely, I got that cl classic like Zinfandel aspect to the aromatics, but then you're bringing in that complexity with the Alicante Boucher, Boucher which has that floral, that more savory aspect to it. And then um, on the palate, <clears throat> the Petit Syrah really fills it out. Um, gives it that more mineral sort of crunch. Um, yeah, even in the 13% alcohol realm that we have really always kind of thought of this wine being, it is still a full wine. It mm -hmm. is still a wine that does not lack power. Um, it is interesting, complex, and depth. There's depth to this wine mm -hmm. without having a ton of alcohol. Yeah, and I, I mean, you know, both both Aaron and I have, have done our best to drink older um, versions of Zinfandels from California, Contra Costa, Mendocino, um, but in Sonoma Valley where kind of modern viticulture started, we really have these incredible varieties growing in very expressive soils. Um, and we think we feel really uh, confident that with the varietals that we have and the sites that we uh, have relationships with that we buy fruit from, that moving forward as we grow this this skew, uh, we're gonna be making a consistent banger of a wine from Sonoma Valley, so. Yeah. Yep. So that said, uh, Thank you guys. cheers.